Maslow's humanistic theory and hierarchy of needs consist of five stages. One, physiological, two, safe and secure, three, love and belonging, four, esteem, and five, self-actualization. The hierarchy is sequential, meaning lower needs must be met before higher needs can be. For example, self-actualization, stage five, cannot be met without first meeting the lower four stages. Maslow did not believe that any particular stage was related to any particular age, because it varied by person. That being said, my placement of Maslow's stages in his hierarchy of needs are based off of my own opinion and personal experience. Eric Erickson was a famous psychologist who was particularly insightful. He proposed a comprehensive developmental theory that included the entire lifespan. His psychosocial stages of development consist of eight original different stages and can be applied to the different age periods. These stages include trust versus mistrust, autonomy versus shame and doubt, initiative versus guilt, industry versus inferiority, identity versus role confusion, intimacy versus isolation, generativity versus stagnation, and integrity versus despair. Erickson names two polarities in each stage, but most people land somewhere in between. We will look deeper into each stage of Maslow's and Erickson's theories and how they relate to different ages, and more specifically, how they relate to my life. The first age period we will look at is prenatal and birth. From the time of conception, humans have basic needs that must be met in order to survive. During prenatal and birth, Maslow's first three stages are most relevant, in my opinion. These are the physiological stage, the safe and secure stage, and the love and belonging stage. The first stage seems to be most relevant during this time, while the other ones are not as necessary, but still very beneficial to development. The physiological stage is concerned with basic needs being met, such as food, drink, and shelter needs. The safe and secure stage is concerned with feeling protected and defended. At such a young age, the love and belonging stage mainly consists of love from family. The stage from Erickson's psychosocial stage of development that is related to prenatal and birth is trust versus mistrust. During this stage, babies either form a trusting relationship with their caregivers that all of their needs will be met, or they develop mistrust about the care of others. It is quite clear that Maslow's physiological stage and Erickson's trust versus mistrust overlap greatly. I was born on June 10, 1999, into a very blessed family, where all three of these stages of Maslow's hierarchy of needs were met for me. In regards to Erickson's theory, I was able to trust that my parents would make sure that all of my basic needs were met, that I felt protected, and that I was loved. The next age period consists of the first two years of life. Maslow's hierarchy of needs stages that apply to this age seem to be very similar to the ones that apply to the last age. Stage 1, physiological, stage 2, safe and secure, and stage 3, love and belonging, seem to be relevant during this age. Erickson's stage that is relevant during the first two years of life is autonomy versus shame and doubt. Toddlers either become autonomous during this stage, meaning they begin to fend for themselves, or they doubt their ability to be self-sufficient. Autonomy during this stage would look like being able to feed oneself, walk, talk, explore, and use the toilet. Maslow's physiological stage changed from having all of one's basic needs met through the care of someone else to being autonomous and meeting all of one's needs through oneself. I am better able to see what I may have been like during this age because my niece has just turned two and she has provided me insight on what a typical two-year-old should be able to do. At two years old, all of my basic needs were being met. I was protected and loved by my family. I also was autonomous as I was able to feed myself, talk, walk, and I was learning how to go to the bathroom. Early childhood consists of the ages of two to six years old. Maslow's physiological and safe and secure stages remain the same during this age. Love and belonging becomes more complex. Children strive to belong amongst friends and family. The love shifts from just family to family and friends. While the first three lower stages still are very important at this age, esteem also starts to play a role for Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Children are very much interested in the approval from their parents and friends. They want to feel accomplished. Initiative versus guilt is the stage in Erickson's psychosocial stages that applies to this age period. During the ages of two to six, children are trying to learn new skills and activities, or their parents don't promote their successes. At this stage, children will either become adventurous or guilty. This new initiative results from myelination of the limbic system, growth of the prefrontal cortex, and a longer attention span. Children either become optimistic or pessimistic, mostly at this stage. There is an obvious overlap between Maslow's esteem stage and Erickson's initiative versus guilt stage. During this stage, most children start going to school, sometimes as early as three years old. 
In my case, I did not go to school until the next stage of my life. Because of this, my earliest friends were my three sisters. They were able to help me establish my sense of belonging. My parents promoted success. However, my parents viewed failure in a negative light instead of room for improvement. Because of this, I fear failing others and am often indecisive. I had moderate esteem at this age, and I was somewhere in between initiative versus guilt. Middle childhood begins at age six and spans five years to age 11. Like early childhood, middle childhood tends to be associated with the first four stages of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Children need their basic needs met, they need to feel secure, they need to feel like they are loved and belong, and they desire to feel accomplished. They have yet to reach stage five of Maslow's hierarchy, the stage of self-actualization, because they are still working on becoming their unique selves. In Erickson's industry versus inferiority stage, children attempt to master many skills. If they are able to succeed, they label themselves as industrious or competent. If they fail at mastering many skills, they label themselves as inferior or incompetent. This stage is a more advanced level than Erickson's previous stage. Children are striving for not only their parents' and friends' approval, but their own self-approval. Children at this age often compare themselves to others, so it is very important that they establish a strong self-concept. I began school at the age of six years old. I had many friends during the middle childhood stage of my life, and I felt like I fit in pretty well. I was quite intelligent and felt very accomplished with most things that I did. I was able to master many skills, so I would have placed closer to the industrious label of Erickson's fourth stage. Oh, adolescence. Such an awkward yet wonderful time for most people. The people in this stage tend to desire Maslow's physiological, love and belonging, and esteem stages. Many are not as concerned with being safe and secure if it means they can accomplish the other stages. They think that they are invincible, as we learned through the invincibility fable. Most are trying very hard to impress others. Erickson's psychosocial stage that applies to this age is identity versus role confusion. During this age period, most young people are trying to figure out who they are and what they want to do with their lives. They either establish their own identity and concern with sexual, political, religious, and vocational standing, or they are confused about who they are and who they want to become. During this stage, I was very concerned with belonging. I wanted to fit in and would sometimes put myself in stupid situations in order to do so. <laughs> On the bright side, I was able to establish my own identity. I realized that I identify as Catholic, Republican, and a heterosexual. I also realized that I want to be a math teacher in the future. I had very little confusion about who I wanted to be. Emerging adulthood begins at age 18 and spans seven years until age 25. The young adults during this stage have accomplished Maslow's physiological and safe and secure stages. They are seeking to find a different kind of love and belonging through a significant other and through a new group of friends. They are very much concerned with Maslow's esteem stage as they are trying to form a reputation for themselves in a different setting. They want to be perceived as respected and accomplished. Erickson's stage that applies to emerging adulthood is intimacy versus isolation. Most young adults are searching for companionship and love. They either find what they are looking for or become isolated. Something that is happening more often, however, is the choice of isolation. Some people just prefer to be alone. While I am currently 19 and in this age period myself, I can still place myself into Maslow's and Erickson's series. I can see that I am striving for love and belonging and esteem in Maslow's stages. I am trying to become a well-rounded person so that people in the future may see me as respected and accomplished. I currently am in a new, nearly two year long relationship and I feel as if I have established intimacy compared to isolation. Adulthood is probably the longest stage for everyone, lasting 40 years from age 25 to age 65. At the early half of this age group, people have established Maslow's first four stages and are still striving to get to his fifth stage, self-actualization. Their goal should be to get to the fifth stage at the end of this age period. Therefore, at the end of the age group, some or most people will be at the stage of self-actualization. They have become their own unique self, and they are able to help others do the same. Generativity versus stagnation is Erickson's psychosocial stage that applies to this age group. Adults are either accomplishing generativity and contributing to the future generation through work, activities, and parenthood, or they are stagnant and not contributing to pretty much anything. The, fear, the future is very hard to predict. However, I'm going to try to do so now. During adulthood, I will eventually reach self-actualization, as it is mine and everyone else's goals. I will become my own unique self, and I will help others to do the same. I hope to inspire the future generation through my teaching career and through raising my own family. The final stage of life is late adulthood, death, and dying. Hopefully by the time people reach this stage, they have accomplished all that they wanted to accomplish and have reached Maslow's fifth and final stage. Self-actualized people have reached the goal of total wellness. They are content with their lives. Erickson's final stage is integrity versus despair. 
Older adults in this stage look back on their lives and hopefully find that their lives were meaningful and full of integrity. In not so lucky cases, people in this stage enter a state of despair, realizing that they have not accomplished all that they wanted to accomplish. When I am on my deathbed in the very far future, I will look back on my life and feel completely content with everything I have accomplished. I will have reached self-actualization and I will have led a meaningful life full of integrity. I will find peace knowing that I have impacted the future generation. But until then, I will strive to always be the best person I can be.